What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, Super Ooh. Retro Bros. I'm Alex. I'm Gerard. And this I, I, delightful little game is called Berserk. Uh, and uh, this is I, this is most notably known as a as an arcade game. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this one's known more as an arcade game, but I used to play Berserk as a kid on my uh, cousin's Atari 2600. So this is special for me. So forget it. Um, but I can't control. Yes, you can. The game very well. I don't. I swear. I look okay. This is fine. Up and down is good. It's just a real old game, dude. It's from 1982. Uh, so the deal with this game is that Woo, it, it was that originally be? developed by Stern Electronics, and uh, you know it came out in 1980 in arcades, and it was famous because back in the day it was crazy because it had speech synthesis. Uh, because the robots talked, they'd say like "coin detected in pocket," "got the humanoid," "got the intruder," you know stuff like that, and. Uh, that was like really famous. So the object of the game is just to kill all the robots, and they're very stupid. Uh, so you can you can get them really good. You have to aim in the direction. It's like yeah, very weird. And as you can see, when they die, the little smiley face situation happens. And smiley when you face. you'll see it. Uh, and uh, the thing that you really got to be careful of in this game is Evil Auto, who's like a smiley face, and he's basically a Terminator who comes to kill you. So. Uh, you can't kill him. Or maybe you can kill him in the console version. Do I just like run around? I'm, I'm just yeah. kind of, okay. This yeah. is the same palette as before. Um. Oh, walls apparently. Bad news bears. Yeah. Don't um, touch walls. So... So that's, that. this is just how this game works. This is obviously the Atari port of an arcade game, so it doesn't work quite as well. But uh, it's it's interesting. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. So Evil Otto himself, the the smiley face, he's named after Dave Otto, who is the security chief at uh, the guy who made the game, his former like work. Uh, and, okay. And the reason that he's called Otto is because, uh, and why Otto is a smiley face is because Otto would smile while he chewed you out at work. So that's why he's a smiley face. He chewed you out while you were at work. Yeah. Oh God. So, <laughs> so uh, that's the that's the deal with this game. Also, Alan McNeil, who was the guy who uh, made this game, came up for the idea when he had a dream about a uh, black and white game where he had to fight robots, and uh, he based it off his dream and a game from the UK called Daleks, like the Doctor Doctor, Doctor who, who enemy, yeah, and uh, it was named after the Berserker series of sci-fi novels. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. What if the dude just spawns on me? That's later, man. But that's not fair, man. Yeah, but it was the 80s, man. But... <laughs> but not fair, man. So, um... Yeah, the, the 2600 version has auto. I don't know why he's not here. The 5200 version has, uh, speech. Uh, I'm I, just very con... Oh! I just, I feel like I don't, I... Is, am I just supposed to keep playing until I'm bored? Is that what this is about? Yeah, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna try and get a good score. And uh, I'm gonna say all this trivia about this game so that people can see and know and... Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, relive I, my, relive I apologize. My, I didn't realize this was a score-based game. Yeah, I just, relive I just my thought that, childhood with me. I just thought that this was, you know, a game... 82, Atari 2600. There's Whoa. not a whole... There's not a whole... A lot of, like, games where you progress. Not a huge amount. That's true. Um, I can't complain. I'm sorry for complaining, Alex. It's not. I'm it's sorry. Not, I'm sorry for ruining your childhood, it's man. It's okay, man. I just. I'm I love, sorry, man. I loved this game when I was a kid. Um, How do you feel about it now? Uh, it's pretty hard, and it doesn't hold up at all. The arcade version's pretty good still, but uh, I. Oh. I kind of miss not hearing the voices now, but I, you know, it's 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 cool. I don't know why Otto hasn't showed up. Otto usually shows up. Uh, Maybe he's not in the Atari version. What? Maybe he's just not in the Atari translation. No, he is. He's just killable. He just he just comes back. Um, maybe you're just not doing good enough yet. I feel like I'm getting better as the rounds go on. Yeah, I mean it's got a pretty hard learning curve. Um, but uh, yeah, so so he came up with the idea from his dream, yada yada yada, 
And uh, what else can we say about it? Oh, I know what some cool stuff is that, that can happen. All right. So um, there's a crazy thing about this game, which is that one time in 1981, uh, in the, while playing the arcade version of the game, a man named Jeff Daly, who was 19 years old, he died of a heart attack after achieving a high score on the game. And you know what his high score was? What? It was one. It was it was sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty. So that has a six 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 in it. So that's that's scary, uh, because everybody gets creeped out because Evil Auto is like this guy who kills you, but he is a smiley face. And so the idea of him being satanic is like scary. You can't touch the walls. Are you aware? I know. I just yeah. I I keep. It's not that I'm trying to, it's that, like, I spawn, and then I, like, move to get away from the guy, and the wall happens to be there. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, so that happened, and that was screwed up. And then, uh, the other guy, Peter Burkowski, who was 18 years old, he got the, uh, he got onto the, uh, top 10 high score list twice in 15 minutes. And he also died of a heart attack while playing this game. Both of them. Eight, an 18-year-old and a 19-year-old died of a heart attack What? while playing this game. That can't be real. It's real. You are making this up. I'm not. It's crazy. It's like a famous, uh, like, you know, video game ghost story, like, uh, Polybius. Or something like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do, like, a... Maybe I'll do something about Polybius on, uh, Beard Bros one time. So I died and got game over. Um, you know, should we just keep going? Yeah, why yeah, not? You got more facts? Yeah, let's see if we can get Otto to show up. I don't... I don't want to die of a heart attack now. I, you're not going to die of a heart attack. What if I do? You're not going to. Did you get freaked out? I'm scared now. You shouldn't be. I'm scared. So, uh, Buckner and Garcia in 1982, they're like Who a... Who they? They're like a, uh, me, they're like a musical duo. Okay. And uh, they made a lot of novelty records, and one time they made an album called Pac-Man Fever, and they had a song on there called uh, Going Berserk. Yeah. And then uh, in uh, 2013, Eminem's single version of Berserk uh, has like art on the cover that looks a lot like the arcade cabinet. Really? Yeah. Crazy. I love that song. And then in WoW, uh, the gnomish alarm bots, they say uh, intruder alert uh, when they're attacked. And it's the same exact voice that auto that 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 happens when auto shows up. Yeah. I'm I'm now paranoid about death. <laughs> Thank you for making me paranoid, Alex. I don't know what happened to Otto. I mean, like yeah, this game's pretty neat for like when it's from. Like as far as like what other games were, we're just like flying around and doing stuff. This game is about running around in like a robot factory and killing robots. It's really cool. Like I'm also confused at why um the robots kill themselves. But they just See, suck. I just I just show up. Like that's a little unfair, don't you think? It's unfair, but I mean, so's life, man. This is a oh god damn. <laughs> damn. I wish the I wish the death sound wasn't so horrendous. And also, who would design a, a place that has? Who would design a place that has like electric walls? I'm just weirded out the fact that the, that after a while these robots decide to kill themselves. They just suck at fighting, and so they, they they kill you a lot, and they kill each other a lot. Which is very interesting, they just run into walls, it's a very... I gotta see if there's a way to proc Otto. I don't know where he is. I, I mean... Know. At least they were playing the arcade version, I'm sure the, uh, the arcade version is probably a little more appealing than this version. Yeah, it, I mean, it it was really neat back in the day that it had uh, that it had like talking, like literally, it was like it costs like a thousand dollars per word, okay, to do this back in the day, which is like really expensive, right? Nineteen eighties, a thousand dollars, pretty pretty high amount of money for a video game which didn't really have high development costs like they do now, right? Yeah, and. Uh, this game has a 30 word vocabulary and it was a thousand dollars per word. So just for the voice function of this game, it cost 30, 30 K in the eighties. Things aren't looking so good for this game right now. Why? It's just not. See, I just suddenly stopped. I think the battery might be dying on the controller. 
Oh, you're having issues? It might just be because... Yeah, like I can't... Oh, don't run so fast. There well, it is. Alright, well, I mean, uh, that was Berserk. Um, I definitely... I hate to be rude, Alex, but I don't think nostalgia held up for this one, buddy. I wouldn't say it was rude. I'd say it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty rock solid assessment. Not a great, not a great game these days. I mean, it's rare to find a game for the Atari that like really holds up. Yeah. Uh, and I would love, I would love to hear what you guys think. I would love to hear like what your, uh, like if you think there's like a retro ass retro game, not like an NES game, like an Atari game or like something older yeah. that like Vectrex or something that like really holds up. So if, if, if you can, if you can think of something, uh, leave it in the comments below and we'll try it out. You know, if it, if it's something that we seem, it seems like we're, we'd be into, we'll try it out on the show. Yeah. Also let us know what your favorite series so far in all these new shows. Cause we, we we've all we've we we haven't run out of ideas. We have a few more left, but we want we kind of want to gauge, you know, like what what you guys really like. So let us know. Let yeah, us, man, we're still it. in like the we're still like in the like pre-production phase almost. Like we're trying to like see what shows really stick and stuff. But I think we're gonna at least do one more episode of every show. And and we got plenty of shows that we're gonna do tons of episodes of. Like I really like this show. Like I think it's interesting to see like what what these old games were like and like take a glimpse back because everyone just loved me freaking out to E.T. Oh, that you got was, so mad. This guys, game is also pretty hard, but E.T. like there's like you just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think I had to apologize for my behavior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was having a really emotional day. But now you promised now you promised to complete to it. it. I will beat it on camera. You complete it. You promised to complete it. on There's camera. nothing to complete but beat it. You can unlock all three modes. Shut. Get. No. Get. <laughs> Later, man. Later, man.